As cameras captured in real time the arraignment of Donald Trump, deep fake photos like these swirled around social media, seemingly showing the former president struggling with authorities, at times appearing to run away from them, and even posing for a mugshot. They may look real, but none of them are. This is an entirely new era of misinformation and disinformation. Fake imagery is going to be really dangerous if there are no regulation or rules around them. Trump's campaign now even attempting to use the doctored photos to his political advantage, selling this t-shirt emblazoned with a fake mugshot. In fact, Trump did not have his mugshot taken when he surrendered to authorities. And he was not tackled by law enforcement on the streets of New York City. All these artificially generated images viewed millions of times, showing just how fast fake photos can spread like wildfire. And with it, disinformation, as technology has evolved and improved to the point where experts say it's getting harder to figure out what's fact and fiction. And this is a field that's been around for about five or six years, but it's suddenly become much more accessible, easy to use, and commercialized. And so what we're seeing is ordinary people taking these tools and playing around with them, creating all kinds of bizarre and funny images, but also some Im images that could be deceptive or malicious. This is sort of like the beginning of social media when social media had zero regulations and no one knew what was going on and it was the wild, wild west. That's what's happening with AI-generated imagery. With the 2024 presidential campaign season underway, all these worries have added to the larger conversation surrounding artificial intelligence, deep fakes, and its political impact in a deeply divided America. Social media has already shown us the harm that powerful technologies can do without the right safeguards in place. President Biden calling his Council of Science and Tech Advisors to the White House just this week to discuss the risks AI could pose. AI can help deal with some very difficult challenges like disease and climate change, but also have to address the potential risks to our society, to our economy, to our national security. It's becoming easier to not believe things that are true and say, look, you know, I just don't know how to trust anything because anything could be generated by AI. And it undermines this sense of a shared truth that is already under threat. It's a threat that's been growing for years. The deep fake photos of the former president only skimming the surface of what's possible with rapidly advancing technology. We as technologists have to take more responsibility for the technologies that we are developing and unleashing on the world. Like this video, it shows the dangers of deep fake technology by manipulating world leaders into saying what the creators wanted them to say. Is it not hard for democracy to collapse? It's essentially a detective game. You're given an image, a video, or an audio, and you're asked to determine if it's authentic. I mean, this happens almost on a daily basis now. Experts say that women are subject to the majority of deep fake crimes when their faces are edited into pornographic content. Hollywood actresses like Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot, Emma Watson, and even Taylor Swift have all been the subject of deep fake videos. The issue is so widespread that platforms like Reddit and even Pornhub have banned deep fakes, calling them non-consensual content. Big Hollywood studios have sometimes taken advantage of deep fake technology for their films. The Star Wars franchise using it to complete the rise of Skywalker after Carrie Fisher died before its completion. This mission is everything. We cannot fail. We expected Amy to win. But it's not just the big screen. The most popular videos are ones that have gone viral on social media. You see, I would never say these things. From former President Obama to Spider-Man. We have to shut it down. It's the real thing. With technology <laughs> developing enough for individual graphic artists to be able to create videos so realistic, it's hard not to believe your eyes. What's up, TikTok? Like this TikTok. You guys cool if I play some sports? Just a day on the golf course for the Top Gun star. Except this is not Tom Cruise's TikTok. And this is not Tom Cruise, but an eerily uncanny recreation made by this guy. I'm Chris Yume. Uh, I live in Belgium. I'm 31 years old and I'm uh, an AI, AI uh, specialist and a VFX artist as well. His videos of a fake Tom Cruise have been viewed millions of times online. 
to create something like this, it's not easy. Because on one hand, you need you need a professional actor. And on the other hand, you have me. I'm a deep fake specialist. I, I've been doing VFX for years. This is a five second impression of a snapping turtle coming out of its shell. People are always scared for technology and, and we have to learn how to handle this stuff. We have to, to learn how to find confirmed sources uh, uh, to make sure the authenticity of those videos are re that it's real. But new AI tools like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Dolly and Midjourney have made it easier than ever to create convincing machine-generated text, images, audio, and video, making it even more difficult to discern what's real and what's not. My colleague Rebecca Jarvis sat down with OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who says society needs time to adapt to this technology. Technology. They need time to feel the technology, to see how it's used, and to go through a few iterations so that we can get to the right set of regulations. But time is running out with fake videos spreading online of President Biden using his voice, saying things he's never said, demonstrated in this clip from Pod Save America. Biden will be back on Pod Save America this year. That's not hyperbole, folks. Biden out. That was obviously fake. That was artificial intelligence. Elon Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak joined more than 2,000 industry experts, executives and others urging all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4, citing profound risks to society and humanity. Is this technology going to have the kind of impact that maybe social media has had on previous elections? And how can you guarantee there won't be those kind of problems because of ChatGPT? We don't know is the honest answer. We're monitoring very closely. And, and again, we can take it back. We can turn things off. We can change the rules. Take a look at some of the faces in the crowd. Their faces aren't clear. It's not a crisp image. Mm -hmm. They look melted. Spotting a fake picture generated by artificial intelligence is not that simple, but there are still some clues if you look close enough, like this AI-generated photo of the Pope wearing a trendy white puffer jacket. So when we look at a photo like this, how can we determine whether it's fake or real? If we zoom into his hand, it's not particularly well-defined. And then if you look at his glasses here on the upper right, they sort of like disappear into the background. Like there's something a little bit off about it. Emmanuel Saliba is a senior reporter focusing on misinformation at ABC News. She sorts fact from fiction for a living. But for those of us at home scrolling through our phones, sometimes it's easy to fall prey to the dangers of AI generated photos. At one point, AI couldn't really quite get human hands correctly, but a week later, it figured it out. So something I'm, I could tell you today is not gonna be a, a visual cue in a week. Do we as consumers have a responsibility now to be able to determine what's fake and what's real? A lot of experts I spoke to said the onus really should not be on the individuals mm -hmm. to try to figure out whether something is real or not. We need to put the onus on companies. What we're realizing. In fact, last year, the White House unveiled a roadmap for companies to follow, the AI Bill of Rights. To help guide the design, development, and deployment of artificial intelligence and other automated systems so that they protect the rights of the American public. As we move forward toward another election, what is the political impact of a photo like this? Well, the political impact of a photo like this is that it's going to influence public perception of a candidate. So there are many ways that I think we're gonna see this play out and that's why having this conversation now and raising public awareness is super important. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.